The town guard at the jail won't let me talk to Romanov. Of course not. We don't want prisoners talking to any old person. So, how am I supposed to find the gold? That's your business. I didn't ask you to find it. Find the gold how you will, but find it your own way. You know, with people like you in the Inquisition, I can't understand why they're so disliked. I could use your services. There's a guard over on the Harbour Quay. Listen. Gold first, pleasure second. Those are the rules. Pay it Madame Sonia's, then we'll talk. Do you have a problem with Carrasco? Well, let's see. All those temples turn up and we're thinking, hurrah, the gods have finally smiled on us. Then, the Inquisition arrive, take over our island and start claiming all the treasure belongs to them. How would you feel? But do you have a particular problem with Carrasco? He's the worst of them. Claims I've been stealing, even had me searched. But he's never found anything. It's an outrage, an outrage, I tell you. I'm looking for work. You could lug crates, but you have to talk to Carrasco. But you don't look like the crate-lugging kind of guy. What do I look like? Like someone who will willingly take greater risks for greater profits. So you don't think stealing is an outrage? Taking from the orders, not stealing. It's our duty. I'll pay a few lads to liberate items from the warehouse. I'm damned if I'm letting the Inquisition get all the treasure. But those lads have run up tabs to pay. They've bedded too many wenches. They're getting greedy. And I won't have that. How exactly have they got greedy? They stole five ancient armor plates that were found in the ruins. Can this armor be used? You mean to improve your own armor? Yes. They're more ceremonial than practical, but they're still very valuable. Which lads are causing trouble? There's Durham. He's a worker from the harbor. Who else? Ingvar and Vasily. Neither of them has a proper job, so they're just work for hire. Most of the time, they can be found in Patty's Tavern. Fine woman she is. What's in it for me, if I help? You can have the gold I offered them. 50 gold pieces for each plate. Five plates, that's 250 all in. 250 is a good price. You won't get that much coin faster and easier anywhere else. Agreed. Carrasco wants the armor plates back. I'm sure he does, but he won't pay you as good as I will. So forget Carrasco and bring me those plates. What do you want doing with these lads? How should I handle it? Any way you like. They've crossed me for the last time. Do what you have to do. Just get me those armor plates back and don't let them fall into Carrasco's hands. I'll retrieve the armor plates. That's the spirit. I'm here if you've got any more questions. Try someplace else. Luca sent me. Really? Did he give you my gold? 200 gold pieces and you can have the plates. Two hundred gold pieces is too much. So that's the way the wind blows. You're helping him. Let me tell you how we're going to do this. You pay me my price or you don't get the artifact. Your choice. Hey, did my old lady send you? She did. Tell her I'll come back when I've found some gold.
Are you hiding from your wife? No cows, no harvest, no farm. Creatures everywhere. And she said that was my fault. Came to get work here. Now Carrasco won't even give me a job lugging crates. Would that have anything to do with the fact that you're in here getting drunk? That's got nothing to do with me. That's got nothing to do with it. That's got nothing to do with it. And you're sure about that? What are you, a missionary? I'll seek my salvation in drink. Go and bother Luca or... or... or someone. Luca sent me. That old sod. He's worse than my wife. He says you're not sticking to your agreement with him. And Vasily says if we all want our gold, we mustn't agree to anything else. So, I need 100 gold pieces for the armor plate. That's too much. No, 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 no. Vasily said to stick to the price. Do you have anything to trade? about your father. I hear he's a pirate. Well, if you've heard people gossiping, then I guess it must be true. Don't tell me you didn't know. Do I know my father is Captain Gregorius Emmanuel Steelbeard, the most infamous bastard to have sailed the seas round here in a hundred years? I can tell you he was a bastard. The rest of it, I've heard through legend, like you. Were you planning on telling me? I asked you for help with information. I didn't agree to give you any. Okay, okay, I get it. Vasily doesn't think your father's here on the island. Vasily's never had anything useful to say. Well, actually, he did tell me something that might be of interest. First time for everything. Well, what was it? About your father. Vasily says your father has a shack here in town. A shack? That's my father. Could afford a palace, but lives in the gutter with the whores and the rats. Still, can you find out where it is? And do it without letting anyone else find it. Could be there's a clue there as to my father's whereabouts, if you can find it. Hey, stop staring at me. You never seen a fisherman before? Didn't mean to stare. I'm drinking, not talking. Unless you're buying, you're walking. You got any rum? I've got some rum for you. Ah, bliss. She may be cruel in the mornings, but she's a fine mistress night and day. Light on the tongue, warm to the body. So, you're a fisherman. I lost my boat in those vile storms we've been having. Now I have nothing. Patty's good to me, though. 
Let's me run a tab. I'm looking for a buyer for a fishmonger's. What, Phyllis is? What's that to me? Wouldn't a fishmonger's be just the thing for a fisherman? I catch fish. I don't sell them. Perhaps you should think about a change of career. Hmm. Perhaps. And you don't have any work right now. True, true. How much would this stall cost me? It's yours for 300 gold pieces. I don't have a coin to my name. But maybe I have something else. Something else? I'll need your help. To do what? Listen, I have something valuable. We can trade. And this thing is worth 300 in gold? Shush, not so loud. And yes, it's an artifact from the ruins. Why are you running a tab at the bar when you own an artifact? I can't sell it. If the Inquisition find out, there'll be hell to pay. I see. But I'll sell it to you for 300. I'm sure it's worth more. Then I can use the gold to buy the shop, and you can take the profit from the artifact. What sort of artifact is it? It's a ring. I think it's magical. So, do we have a deal? Is the map done? Let me check. No. I heard you had a break-in. What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Who was here on the day of the break-in? A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The labourer, Doyle, sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, he sold me a couple of wolf pelts. I'll find your ring. I would be very grateful. I spoke to Rodriguez. He thinks you're behind the break-ins. He's trying to frame me. He hates me. Always has for some reason. Rodriguez thinks you're using a spy to check out potential houses. Does he? Do you? Have a spy? What do you think? Who is it? No, cause I don't. Why would I? But if you find a spy, talk to me before you talk to Rodriguez. Maybe no one needs to get in trouble. I think Sid stole it. My city is no thief, and you can't prove otherwise. Give me that ring. It's mine, okay? Mine. Handling stolen goods. You could get in trouble with the Inquisition. I doubt the Inquisition would bother themselves over me. Not like I'm special, is it? Well, not in a way that would bother them. I'll give you something much better instead. What do you want? I love it when a man asks me that. Tell you what, if you can find me some pearls, a whole string of them, you can have that ring. I have a beautiful string of pearls here. So you do. Okay, give them to me and you can have the ring. Just don't tell Siddy. And don't go thinking you can pin anything on either of us. We'll deny everything. Watch yourself. Don't bother me. I found it. I have your ring. I'm so pleased that honesty still exists. I'd like you to keep the ring. Are you serious? Seeing it just reminds me of the break-in. I don't want it anymore. Are you sure about giving me the ring? Isn't it precious? Yes, of course. I don't even want to look at it. 
Take it with my thanks. I'm grateful. Thank you. I'm looking for Doyle. Doyle? I haven't seen him in a long time. He used to be a good customer of mine. Well, he bought fish from me more than once. That's good in my book. But maybe you could jog my memory, eh? Where is Doyle? I last heard he'd taken quarters with Costa. But since then, he hasn't been seen in the gutters. Maybe he's gone into hiding for some reason. Lots of strange goings on around here. Never mind. About the break-in. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day laborers who wanted to push their wares off on me. Uh, like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah. Uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. Sid's spy. Have you talked to everyone who had their houses burgled? Not yet. Well, I think that's your place to start looking for Sid's scout. If you're looking for your cow, you're in the wrong place. Only cows we've got are already cut up, and the pieces belong to the order. Why would I be looking for cows? Farmers come here all the time to find their cows. Where's Daisy? I lost Moo Moo. Bloody nuisance. Why do they think you've got them? They come in saying I've taken them. I don't take them. I slaughter what I'm brought. The order tells me to slaughter cattle, so that's what I do. Mo will tell you the same. Who's Mo? My assistant. He's just doing his job as well. If you're missing your favorite milker, talk to the order. This place seems busy. This slaughterhouse is a gold mine but all the profits go to the order. All the meat goes out to feed people. Baxter, next door, he does the books. Pays me, sends the rest to the order. They do make the operation run smoothly. I'm looking for Baxter. He's in the building next door, in the office. The Naked Monk, a cookbook. I guess I'll make a copy of that. All right there. Who are you? Mo. I work for Dargle, delivering meat. I see. That's a tough job. Yeah, especially as I remove offal, keep the butcher's shop clean, render fat, and fetch cattle. If you don't want anything, can I get on? I've got a lot to do. Dargle told me about the farmers that come here, that they can get a little annoyed. They kick up a mighty fuss too. But what can we do? We have orders to slaughter the cows. I usually try to stay out of it. Heard anything about the break-ins? You think because I do deliveries, I'm in on them? I don't care about valuables. I care about music, beer, and keeping out of trouble. Sounds idyllic. I'm looking for a couple of skins. You're in luck. Here, you can have them. For free? What's wrong with them? Nothing. You're just taking them off my hands. They're Baxter's, aren't they? You took them. And you're giving them to Baxter. So, no trouble needed for anyone.
Delgado is waiting for his gold. Then he's gonna have to wait a long time. I'm not paying. Delgado won't like that. Is that a threat? Police. You won't pay? Is that your final say? It really wasn't very smart to get involved with a man like Delgado, you know? You'll see that soon enough. There's no Don here anymore. The Order controls this place. So, no payment. And yes, that is my final say. Fine. Then I'll take the gold. We'll see about that. Fuller! I've already dealt with him. Fuller. Worthless sack of bones. You want to make things personal? You want it, you come and take it. Hope you're ready for this. Yeah. Ah. 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 It worth my while. Huh. Huh. Again. Uh. Yes. Uh. Come on. Huh. Make it worth my while. Huh. Swing like a man. Uh. Huh. Uh. Come on. Uh. Uh. You're nothing but a lousy thug. Come to gloat, have you? Stealing gold from an honest businessman who's just trying to help folks get by. I did warn you. We've all got to make a living, I guess. So, let bygones be bygones, eh? Well, if it means you'll be spending some coin with me, then I'll oblige. Here is Costa's gold. Excellent work. I'll make sure the gold gets back into the right hands. So how do we proceed with your plan? Delgado should learn his association with Costa is over. That will add to his problems. You want me to tell Delgado? Yes. And tell him the Order has the gold. If he doesn't want trouble, he should leave Harbour Town for good. 
Why would Delgado leave? The Inquisitor knows what he's up to. That should be enough to make Delgado run. The Don's men always run. Besides, he also needs to explain to the Don where his takings have gone. Poor Delgado. <laughs> we'll be squeezed from both sides. Costa has no gold to pay with. The Order has it. You gave the gold to the Order. You'd better think about getting yourself a bodyguard. What are you planning to do now? I'll have to go and explain this mess. And you can piss off back to whatever hole you crawled out of. Who could teach me to pick locks? Just a moment. If I take three at 25 plus 18 hams, that I can't do this with you staring at me. You're doing the accounts? I keep the books for the butcher's shop. There's a skill. You think calculating's easy? There's not many around here can do it. I can. Really? You want to test me? Yes. What's 14 times 17? 238. Very good. A man should value the weapons of the mind. About the break-in. What was stolen? What else? Gold, of course. The gold belongs to the Order. Now it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much. I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed the theft. Who was in the house on the day of the break-in? Well, Doyle tried to sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fat o Vasily brought beer. I paid for that, traded him a few pieces of meat. And of course, Mo was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here after all. I'm here about the deal with Flavio. Flavio? Tell him I still don't have the goods. Five wolf skins and five boar skins. No more, no less and I'll only take the complete delivery. Here are the skins Flavio promised. Yeah, let's see. Yes, yes, these look good. Can we do business? We have a deal. I'll take the furs, you take the meat. Hmm, just endless lists and columns of numbers.
I talk to everyone involved. And do you have a suspect? Doyle, who sells fish. Have you found any evidence? No, not yet. We need more than just a hunch. Come back when you have a confession or some kind of proof. Nothing new for you. What is it? You were seen in a house that was burgled. I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into, which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? Or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I cased the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? But what do I do with this information? If Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rotworms. And if the Order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. You will surrender to the Order. No. Please, no. I can't go to the monastery. First you stay here and hide. But Sid'll find me. And he'll kill me. I'll take care of Sid. With the statement you gave me, I'll get him. Oh, shit and fire. That's not going to be easy. What about the skins from Flavio? What about them? Did you steal them as well? Yeah, but I sold them a long time ago. If you're after skins, look elsewhere. Like where? Do I look like a skin merchant? I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. Doyle's gone to the Order. He's turned himself in. What? He'll tell them everything. What are you going to do? If I stay, I'm in a sea of trouble. I need to get away. Yeah, I'll head out as soon as I can. Hoping the mess this town's become, I'll get forgotten. Whatever happens, I'm not letting the Order take me to the monastery. What do you want? There's plenty of... Keep your like hands you off what's mine. Here. I found Sid's spy. And Sid ordered him to do it, right? Yes, it was Doyle, one of the day laborers. He's scared to death and does not want to go back to the monastery. Sid is trying to flee the town. Let him go. He'll just cause trouble if we put him in the monastery. At least the town will be free of his influence. Here, with the thanks of the order, we could do with more like you. I hear you've got some artefacts. Yeah, oh, Luca sent you, right? Look, I am sick and tired of lying in that bastard's pockets by doing his dirty work. I want payment, a decent payment, or you can both piss off. 
200 gold pieces should do it. I've brought you some meat for the needy. Really? Flavio said you could use it. That I can. There are some more refugees driven here by the creatures in the temples, by the Don. We even have some refugees from other islands. We need help if we are to care for them all. Master Belshaw has the meat. He's handing it out. Wonderful. Here. Yeah. Take these potions. Life here is very dangerous. We all need any help we can get. Ah, one more thing. If you want to rest, there is still a bed in my warehouse. There's plenty of others with gossip. Try them. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Miserable thief! Not right, no. What? Keep your hands where I can see them. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets. And there's no better place to dig into them than Madame Sonia's House of Pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes. And the girls there are talented, flexible, and lice-free. Good to know. Mm -hmm. 